Dan's doing something new with his look. I, I think he's like grown his beard out a bit. I, I don't know. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, you guys. I'm, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Hey Peekaboos! I hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday season no matter what you celebrate but today we are going to show you guys our November haul and we even got some stuff on Black Friday so I'm pretty excited about it all so let's just get right into the haul. So first up let's start with the Black Friday deals. So we made orders from Right Stuff and also Sentai and somehow Right Stuff got into all of our orders and shipped it all. So first off I got volumes 1 and 2 of The Ancient Magus Bride because I have really been into the anime this season it's probably my favorite anime well i don't know then there's love live i don't know it's hard it's between the two for what my favorite anime is this season but i just had to go and pick up a couple of the volumes of the manga because i wanted to see how closely it follows or if we get extra little tidbits or anything like that so getting into the anime portion of our black friday haul i finally got school live and you guys know that i have been recommending this show for quite a long time on this channel i really really loved it possibly in my top 10 anime of all time if not at least top 20. it is so good but it's so unexpected and i always recommend this but i can never really give a brief overview even because i don't want to spoil it it's kind of slice of life but then it also has different elements in it as the first episode has this really big twist. So I would definitely say check out the first episode and if it's for you, definitely continue it. But if you're not into that kind of thing, then go ahead and drop it. But I really, really like this. So I'm super excited to finally own it now. So next up, I got Uta no Prinsama, just the first season, just to check it out. This is one that I haven't seen, but I believe it was under $20, so I couldn't pass it up. I've been wanting to see this for a while. It's just kind of, it's a, a musical slice of life anime is basically the best I know. I mean, it centers around this girl who gets involved with all of these musically talented boys. So other than that, I don't know much, but I've been wanting to check it out for the longest time. So I decided to pick it up. So before we get into too many of her animes, we're gonna get into what? the only one I got, and that is Gundam. Of course it's Gundam. Well, of course it's Gundam. <laughs> Gundam's amazing. And especially this one, so it is Gundam 0083 Stardust Memory. Pretty much like Top Gundam. What? Top Gundam. You know, like Top Gun, but this is Top Gundam. Now who's full of puns? So back to animes that I know nothing about but all of a sudden really really wanted to pick it up was Flying Witch and this was one of their door busters so it was like even more on sale for like a day but it is an anime about this girl who's a witch and she turns 15 and normally I guess in the witching families they allow them to go out on their own and explore and practice their craft and everything. This sounds weirdly familiar, like almost like a Studio Ghibli movie. Except her family doesn't trust her to be alone so they send her with like extended family to train so she's not completely alone. But it just sounded really cute so I thought I would pick it up. And then finally for the last anime that we picked up it is is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? So we actually saw the first couple of episodes to this at Anime Boston and it was so good, but we just haven't had time to really pick it up since Anime Boston. And I know it's been months and months and you're like, what are you doing with your lives? Why aren't you watching this? Well, now we don't really have an excuse. We can't be like, oh, well, you know, it's not streaming well because our internet is dying. Nope, we have no excuses. It's right here. But our Blu-ray player could go up in smoke. Oh gosh, stop making excuses. <laughs> we need to finish this. And now back to our regularly scheduled hauls. We have items from Ami Ami. We have items from Tokyo Chuckle Mode and from Good Smile Company. So as you guys know, some of those companies like to send little freebies. So we have our Tom folder, of course, and then I think, yep, they normally 
include a cute little sticker. So we have that as free bonuses. And then we also have our Ami Ami card, which I feel like it's a little off season. This is like a fall card for something that came out at the end of November. But it is still really cute. I love the colors and it definitely is a great fall scene. It's just with the recent snowstorms lately, it doesn't quite fit. So this month we only picked up one charm and it is an adorable Yuri and Victor like sleepy time. The moon is out and bright and Yuri has fallen asleep and Victor's kind of just watching over him and it's in this cute little pastel adorable colors and it's just so adorable I couldn't pass it up but then you guys all knew it was gonna happen we are starting in with the love live items and the first thing that we picked up is this really cute love live sunshine happy party train mug I had to get another one because Dan kind of stole the first one that I got. He did not. <laughs> he won't let me drink out of it. <laughs> no, that is not true. But it doesn't matter anyways because now we have two and I love the Happy Party Train outfit. I think they're so cute and the song is great too so I'm happy. I claim this mug now. But before we get into the rest of our Love Live haul, we will start off with the one figure that we did get that has nothing to do with Love Live, and that is Akko from Little Witch Academia. She did come to us from Tokyo Taco Mode, so that's why she's here a little bit late, but that's okay because I'm pretty sure I got her for practically nothing with all the Tom points that I used to have before I've spent them all now on Nendroids. But she is an absolute adorable Nendroid. She comes with so many little different accessories and face plates. She's so expressive in the anime and it shows beautifully in this Nendroid. We even get her little bunny ears because she can't quite transform properly because she's still learning and her mistakes are adorable and clumsy. And so I'm so happy that the Nendroid was able to express her personality. Well, let's get to the real meat of the haul then. And the first one will be this Hanamaru prize figure. What? Another Hanamaru prize figure? Oh yeah, because she's <laughs> like the best character in Love Life Sunshine. But she seems to be in like this like sweater shirt skirt thing with like glasses. She's in a casual outfit. <laughs> she got a purse. And she's just standing there like she's like I know I'm the best girl. Your descriptions are like spot on. She's yeah. got a shirt <laughs> and a purse. Hopefully she's not footloose. <laughs> well, of course she would be. You know why? Because she's not broken like Khan on it. It was one time. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> that, that shouldn't have happened. That sucked. It did suck. <laughs> but you know what doesn't suck? We have finally completed our Love Live Sunshine Nendroid collection. What? Because Mari is finally here and she is the last one. So here she is in the opening outfit. And once again, she does not come with anything sort of extra, but I think what makes it is her second faceplate. How would you describe that face? That's like a scheming face. It's so perfect for Mari. <laughs> I just love it. So even though she doesn't come with much, it's definitely just like Akko, she's very expressive to be the character you expect to see on screen. And let's not forget that she came with the bonus as well because we ordered her from Good Smile Company. So now we should have all nine stands to really make them sparkle. But do you know who else comes with bonuses? Who? Are you an owl? <laughs> no, like Maki. So this is the Maki cheer version from Good Smile's Fig Fix line. And I think this is only our second Fig Fix because I think our first one was Katori, but I'm not quite sure. I'm I think so. However, with this line, because we're not the hugest collectors with Figmas, we pick them up every now and then, but we decided just to get our best girls because there's no way we can get another set of nine girls. 
But as I mentioned, she does come with a bonus, and like Katori, she comes with an extra faceplate. However, if I remember correctly, this faceplate actually has more than just another little sparkle in her eye. I, I don't remember what the difference was, somebody pointed it out, but the bonus face for Katori wasn't really different. I, I don't know again. But this time we have her with an embarrassed face. So you can get her like happy peppy cheer look with her original faceplate. But if you did buy from Good Smile, you get the bonus little embarrassed face, which is more like Maki, I think. It's more her character style. And then finally, we say the best figure for last. Okay, I'll give that to you just because of the company that made it and also just how great she looks. And but also because it's best girl. Still not best girl. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it is. But it is the Katori Alter figure. This is, of course, the re-release version because for whatever reason, we, we slept out. so hard on the first release. I don't know what we were thinking because she looks absolutely amazing. I am excited because just as you said, we for some reason didn't get this for the first time around. And I was super disappointed when like pre one was like 300 bucks. Oh my gosh, she's going for so much. So I'm so happy that they did re-release her. And she's a beaut. And she even has the little bird thing that we have a plush of. <laughs> it's on her staff. I still think this looks like the big round bird in Yoshi's Island. No one's gonna get that reference. Sure they are, we're not the only old people out there. <laughs> Other people have played at Yoshi's Island before. We're gonna have that one person who's gonna be like, I know what you're talking about, Blusica. I knew it. He does look exactly like that bird that just <laughs> roly polies around on the screen. They're gonna see it. One of you is gonna see it. Don't make a liar out of me. Anyway, this is an excellent figure that we will display prominently on our mantle. Now we really save the best for last because even though you might have thought that that figure was it, the reason why our Ami Ami box was so big was because we got a couple of the Nesso Berry plushes. Oh my god, I love her! <laughs> like seriously, she's gigantic and so so cute. Yeah. They're like Christmas versions of them as well, where like Kanon is like in a Mrs. Claus sort of outfit and Hanamaru is all like, ho ho ho, a Santa Claus. I don't know if you know, could see, but these are extremely large. I have this other Nesso Berry plush right here. And you could compare the size. This is a normal one, by the way. I didn't realize they were going to be this big. Like, I knew shipping was gonna be bad because, like, I think of this size normally costs anywhere from $20 to $30 itself. If that's, like, the only thing you buy in the order and you ship through EMS, I think it's about $30 to ship it. So then when I saw, like, the shipping cost here, I was like, oh, well, maybe it's because of, like, the other figures we got in there. But no, it's because they're gigantic. Oh my gosh. Well, um, that's it, you guys. That, that's our November haul. I'm uh, getting really tired now. I like truly tired. I think I'm gonna go just, just lay down. No, no particular reason, just tired. Bye guys. That's all, folks.